Hi everyone, it's me and I'm finally back. So today's video is all about artifacts and what to do with your bad artifacts. If you clicked on this video, it's most likely that you have a few artifacts laying around that you probably won't use and don't know what to do with them. Before you throw them out, watch this video and get some ideas so that you will not waste those precious artifacts. So let's get started. So let's start by checking out my artifact inventory and as you can see, I'm almost at the max limit. I personally think the max limit is a little too small. Eventually, I really hope that there's going to be more space for the artifact inventory. So the majority of these are actually 5 stars, and then down here are the 4 star artifacts. And also, I have a few 3 star artifacts from farming domains, as well as opening chests. Although, I don't really use the 3 star artifacts because I just use them as EXP. Which brings me to my first way to use artifacts. So if you are leveling up an artifact, let's say I was leveling up this feather, I would use my lower level materials, such as 3 star materials and under, to level them up. So use your bad artifacts to enhance the other artifacts that you think are good. This is a great way to save on these artifact EXPs because these aren't the most common thing whilst artifacts are because you can farm them in domains. So what I'm doing is auto adding all my 3 star artifacts because I don't use them and then for some 4 star artifacts I will manually look through them and enhance the big artifacts with these smaller artifacts. The reason why that's the case is sometimes I like to use 4 star artifacts when they are the perfect artifact. I'm more strict about 4 star artifacts than 5 star artifacts so if it doesn't have crit rate and crit damage and all those kinds of things, then I'll just throw it into here. But if it already has the stats that I want, then I'm probably going to use it. And there we have it, we have crit damage, yay! Now, it's a different case for 5 star artifacts. So if you think you have a bunch of bad 5 star artifacts laying around, don't worry, we all do. Such as something like this, which I don't think I'd use, or something like this. Now, instead of using this as EXP to enhance a different 5 star artifact, save these because I have another way to use them later. You might not know about it if you haven't been watching all the Genshin update live streams, or if you're not paying very close attention, so I'll mention it a little bit later. Timestamps are in the description if you want to skip to that part of the video. So what I do is I would go through all the stuff that I have here and then look for all the artifacts that I'm willing to give up. So here's what I'm going to do with all my bad artifacts or my lower leveled artifacts. I'll look through them here and I'm going to sort them so that the lowest levels are at the top so I don't have to always scroll up and down. So what I'll do is auto add them because I don't really need to look through them, but if you are at a lower adventure rank and you think you'll need these, then it's best to manually look through them rather than to auto-add them, because there might be a few rare ones that are pretty good. Something you should also be doing is locking your artifacts. This is so that you don't accidentally feed your artifact to another artifact when it's actually a good one. So let's say I have this, which I really really like, and I don't lock it and it's like this, that means I could accidentally use this to enhance another artifact, which I don't want to do. So lock the artifacts, and even before you've raised them, it's also best to lock them so you know which artifacts you're planning to raise. For example, this Kokomi feather, I have locked it because I know that I'm going to raise it later, so I've basically marked it saying that I'm going to come back to it, and I don't have to go scroll through every single feather and click through all of them until I find the one that I want. Now, the next thing you can do is the artifact trade. Some of you already know it, so this is not going to be any new information for you, but for those new players out there, here is what it is. So teleport to any city that has a crafting bench, also I think the underground chasm mines do, but all you basically need is a crafting bench. Click on it and then you'll see these three options. You'll have this one, this one, and this one. Now this third option is relatively new, but also it's been in the game for quite a while. They also added a lot more options rather than just the ones they had before, which I'm happy of because some of these domains I don't want to farm, like Viridescent, or the Thundering Fury domain. And this also ensures that you get the artifacts that you want in terms of which set type it is. So this only works on 5-star artifacts. So if you have a lot of 5-star artifacts, then pay attention because this is for you. What I'll do is I'll look through my inventory and find all the artifacts that are 5-stars that I don't want. This does not work on 4-star or 3-star and under artifacts, only 5-stars. If you're still at the level where you're just getting your first few 5-star artifacts, don't do this right away because you're basically gambling your artifacts away. There is some risk involved, but that's why you want to lock your good artifacts and don't feed them to this. 
So this, it requires a little bit more sorting through because there is no auto add button. So what you'll want to do is look around, find these artifacts that you want to give away and put them through here. Now here's the thing, three artifacts equals one new one. But the best part is it doesn't have to be from that same set. So I can use any different variety of artifacts to get artifacts for this one set. So what you're gonna wanna do is scroll through, find the artifacts you wanna give away, and you have to put in three per one artifact. So as you can see, nine out of nine, and that means I'll get three artifacts. Now offer them and make sure you confirm. And here are my new artifacts. Now, I also can't guarantee that they're going to be good ones, but it is a way to get rid of your bad artifacts. Now, if you have an artifact that you think is bad, but you also think you might be useful, don't put it in right away because you might just get a worse artifact. So this is really a thing just for the late game players who have that surplus of artifacts that they are willing to give up. And lastly, I would just like to mention that there are a lot of artifact sets, and also there are a lot of characters. So if you think an artifact might be bad, it might just be on the wrong character. So for example, if you have an HP Sans, you might not want to put it on a character like Kazuha or Venti, but you might want to put it on someone like Kokomi or Barbara. So finding that fit of the right artifact is really important too. That's why I have a lot of off pieces, like this one, the Hydro Damage Bonus Set, it's a great attack percent goblet, so I'm using it on Jean because I think she could use it. So still raise artifacts that you think are going to be good because eventually you will find the perfect character to fit that artifact, and there are a lot of those options and combinations. So before you throw away that artifact that seems to be bad with that HP sands and those crit rate and crit damage and the substats, you might just need it because who knows, you might be getting Hu Tao. So just think twice before you're about to throw something away. But the main thing here is do not press this artifact trash button. You don't want to mess with that. Instead, use it as EXP or trade it in through the artifact trade. Hopefully you learned something new or got inspired in some sort of way, or perhaps this is a reminder to look through your artifacts because you're at the max limit. I know when I get lazy, I don't want to farm artifacts because I'm already at the max limit and I don't feel like clearing it out, but this is a sign to start doing that. Alright, so I hope you found something helpful in this video. I am so glad to be back and hopefully I'm going to be posting regularly. I know I say that every time. I am so glad you stayed and watched until the end. All the links are in the description and if you're asking about my graphics, they're also in the description, so check those out there. So I'll see you all very soon and thank you for stopping by, good luck on your polls, and have a great day!